Hi guys, so today's video is all about rendering floor plans in Photoshop with furniture and materials in a smooth, effective and quick way. This video is also sponsored by Skillshare but more on that later. For now, let's get into the video. The first thing that we need to do is import our drawing from AutoCAD into Photoshop as PDF file. And then I'm going to rename all of the layers and lock them so that they don't bother us in the future. And then I'm going to add a color overlay to the walls. Usually for plants, I would go with black, but since this is with furniture and materials, black can be harsh. So I'd go with a dark gray so that it still has contrast. First, I'm going to select all of the glass panels or windows and add a blue color overlay. Some of the techniques I use today, I learned by experimenting with Photoshop tools and others in a class by Daniel Scott on Skillshare. In this class, Daniel, who is an Adobe certified instructor for Photoshop, dives down into the fundamental tools of Photoshop and how to use them the right way. I find Skillshare truly amazing to expand on your current interests or talents, to deepen your knowledge of things you are interested in, while also giving you so much space to discover something completely new to learn. They offer thousands of classes on all sorts of topics such as photoshop illustrator and even architectural classes that i've already spotted that i'll link down below for you i think it's the perfect platform to make the most of this year to develop new skills and develop your creativity they are also affordable as the annual subscription is less than ten dollars a month i'll also have a link below to give you two month free premium access to however many classes you are interested in do check it out if you're looking to develop your personal and creative skills in 2020 and thank you so much to skillshare for sponsoring and supporting channels like mine. And then I'm going to select the frames of the window and add a golden color to some and a silver color to some so that there is a play of materials. And if you watch my previous video of the modeling of this room with the V-Ray render, you kind of know process of the design and everything. So definitely check that video out if you haven't already. And now I'm going to select the balcony and add a pattern to it. And just for fun, I was checking the patterns that I have already saved. And I found this really nice stone tiles. So I thought I'd just use it. it saves me some time. And then I'm going to add a timber pattern to all of my closets. And then I'm also going to select its frame and add a golden color overlay. Don't worry if you don't have those as patterns in your Photoshop file because I will show you how to create patterns for your materials. So now I'm adding a blue color overlay to the sinks and the bathtub just to kind of look as if there's water in it. Then I'm going to find a black marble texture on Google and I'm going to try and use that for the bathroom. So to turn that into a pattern, you first have to save the image from Google and then open that in Photoshop. If you go to edit and define pattern, then you can use that in your Photoshop file really easy. So I'm going to use the rectangular selection tool and I'm just going to test out an area with some black marble. looks nice it looks modern but i feel that it's very dark even though i lowered its opacity it still felt dark so i wanted to make the space feel a bit lighter so i thought i'd add another marble texture on top in some areas found so many on google but nothing just worked with this black marble it's just So afterwards, I've decided, you know what, I actually have to draw the tiles in AutoCAD to make the floor plan clean and professional instead of faking it in Photoshop. So I went back into AutoCAD and then I added the areas where I want to add emphasis and I added all of the tiles. And I think it looks so much nicer now. So using the same layer as 
the timber texture i'm going to select a few other areas and then i'm going to color over that with white in the layer mask to reveal and i know some of you are not aware of how layer masks work so i'll leave in the cards video that i've made on layer masks that you can watch so i'm going to color the bedside tables in black so that it matches the black marble and then i'm going to add reflection using the polygonal lasso tool in the color white to emphasize these tables being glass So now this is my second attempt of adding black marble and I'm going to select all of the tiles and then add the layer on top as a layer mask. And I always, every time I select these tiles, I do miss one or two and it's so annoying. Something about the tiles being black still didn't make any sense, so I thought maybe it's the color of the walls that are throwing me off, so I thought, okay, I'll change the color of the wall to white to see if that'll work. And some things just didn't quite feel right, so I decided to check if maybe it was the marble being black. And I found this one on Pinterest, which was so nice because it had a lot of movement to it, which I really wanted, and it was white and gold and beige, and it kind of fits in with the story that I was trying to tell in that space, so I thought I'll just give it a try. And to my surprise it was amazing like literally amazing i was completely shocked because it worked so well so now it was a matter of finding another marble texture for the vanity so i found a few options and i would never ever think to pair it with pink i hate pink but i was testing out a few examples off camera and i saw this one and i was like hmm am i crazy or does this work together because i feel that the marble on the floor has a bit of pink undertone so i think that the pink vanity kind of brings it out more am i crazy <laughs> but anyway i tested a few other examples and i think the first one that i tried was the best so i decided to keep it and i'm also going to add the same texture on those emphasis parts but i'm going to lower its opacity So I'm going to bring back the color of the walls to gray because white did not do it for me. And then I'm going to change the color of those tabletops because they're not black anymore and change that to pink. I hate pink. So then I'm going to add a fabric texture on the bed. I wanted the bed to be completely white because it's a hotel. I need to know it's clean. So I found this texture that I really like because it kind of had this ripple effect. So it kind of adds a bit of movement into the bed. I also added these plant pots when I imported the new drawing from AutoCAD. I was going for marble and I honestly did not want to go looking for any more marble images. I'm sorry. And it was just so I'm going to add the black marble texture and then I'm going to change the blending options to see if one of them will give me a white marble. And guess what? It worked! Sometimes being lazy does pay off. So then I'm going to add a grass texture. And I also added the golden color to the frames of the chairs and then I added a fabric texture to the seat. And then I'm going to add this tree image. Do you know that I use this tree image in almost every floor plan, but I never think to save it. I always have to go to Google and search for it again. It drives me insane. But anyway, going to duplicate the layer and add that on the bottom. And then using levels, turn that tree into completely black so that will be its shadow. I'm sorry, but I can't give you a logical explanation to why I don't just use drop shadow. Merge the layers together. And then I'm going to add that to each of my pots. Pots. I feel like... It's not the right word. Help me out, guys. Is it pots? Is it tree plots? T tree plants pots? So now I'm going to add a timber texture for the floor and I was debating between two. I really wanted a diagonal pattern because I feel like it's a bit more interesting. I decided to go with the one that had straight edges. And I lowered its opacity and I added a hue and saturation layer to reduce its saturation because I felt that it was very bright.
and then I'm going to also add the golden color to the lamps and using a soft white brush on a layer underneath I'm just going to keep clicking a few times till I get light from the lamps so now that we're done with adding materials, now it's time to add shadow, which will make this floor plan really stand out. So for the bed, since it's made up from a few materials, I added a rectangle first and then I added drop shadow. Which then I could, using the polygonal lasso tool, trace over that, color that with black and lower its opacity. So I did the same technique to pretty much everything, the walls, the chairs, some of them I just left it as drop shadow but for the walls I did the drop shadow and then the polygonal lasso tool after. So now I'm just going to select timber texture of the floor and then on a new layer added a bit of shadow around the edges of the walls, a little bit on the furniture. So it's really important that you first decide where the light source is, so in my case it will definitely be the balcony and the curtain wall. So now I'm just going to use the polygonal lasso tool and select the area and if I hold down on shift using the polygonal lasso tool I can then create this diagonal line that is consistent in this room and also the bathroom. And then I can add white color overlay and then lower its opacity. The last step is to put everything in a group just so that it's easy to look at. I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E, so basically your whole keyboard. So then we can go into Camera Raw Filter and then we can edit that, increase the exposure a little bit, increase the contrast, increase the clarity. So basically just edit it to suit your style. So this is the before and after of the floor plan. I am completely smitten with the floor plan to be honest, the bathroom just takes my breath away every time i look at it really wish i had that bathroom right now let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below thank you so much guys for watching now it's time for the secret surviving show i always like to reply to your questions because it helps you it also helps all of my other viewers out if you want to be featured in my next video leave down a question in the comment section with the hashtag surviving secret show to be featured today's question is by javon jacobi he says i have a question what was is your hardest and easiest project oh yeah and why i'd say the hardest project was the previous project which was to design a theater if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know i've spoken about this project in a few videos it was the hardest project not in term of the actual building itself but because of some personal issues that project to me it's still not finished but i've been trying to let it go because otherwise i'm just going to torture myself the easiest project that i've done i think it's the one i'm doing right now because it's basically just floor plans i'm quite happy with it i hope you guys are having a great day you're staying safe and healthy i love you i'm rasha shiroto and i'll see you next time